So here's one that looks a little tricky. And I like, I agree, it actually is a little tricky. Um, and the reason why it's tricky is because some of these measurements aren't, aren't consistent. Um, so if you especially look right here, uh, it says that these are circles with a radius of 12.5. Um, and then it says this height is 25. So what I think it means that those, if those were standing vertical, their radius would be 12.5. If it's at that angle, it's not going to be a circle anymore anyway. Um, so I think we'll just assume that they're, that, I mean, this, the slope is there, um, but it's, it's the overall setup is, uh, you know, that the, they're defined on, on the vertical, not, not anything else. Uh, the same with this circle right here. Right, that's everything everything else is given on on the vertical plane so we'll assume that's the case so what we'll do we'll we'll draw this entire outline and then we'll do uh we'll, we'll go from there there's also another issue um in the back here um that we'll see and that is that this cut right here does not say anything about not extending all the way through and if you do that then there's actually a a kind of a cut in the back there, um, but we'll look at that when we get there. So let's start with the front. Um, we'll start somewhere and go upward. Um, actually, you know what? We can do a we can do a slot with a center. Well, we know our center is here. Um, the distance between those two is supposed to be sixty, so thirty in one direction. 30 and then this is supposed to be 25 like you know 12.5 radius so here we'll have to put um 25 as the diameter and that would be that um then we kind of do the rest of our situation here so this is 25 high that is that is good and then how far in do we go? 12 from what is the top of the circle. So let's zoom in a little bit. So we'd have to go here to here 12. Do we have a good number there? Yes, this is y equal to 30. But y is up and down. x is equal to, to 1250. So if we go in this direction, now this is the y is the one that we want to change doesn't fit what I see down there, but that's what we want to change. So this was, now let's just do a line. It's easier before we confuse ourselves. So we have to have a line in this direction that is 12, right? That's this, this right there. So it'd be 12, where it says right there, then the height, I'm guessing this means here, no, this height is 10. Right there, it's a, little, a little crooked to see. 10, so we'd up, up there, then it says go in by six. And then go up by 35. 35. And then this should be 12 because 24 would be all the way across. So let's do that. And then I think instead of drawing this all the way again, we'll just do delves ourselves a little construction line here. And then we'll do a mirror. What do we want to mirror? This one, this one, that one, and that one. The rest, you know, this one we don't really need. The mirror line, we'll do that. And we'll say apply. And done. So that looks good, right? That'd be kind of our overall shape. So let's say finish. And then like, we don't need to even, oh, you know what? Let's put the, put the other pieces on there actually. Right, if we put the hole and this cut there now, then we don't have to worry about it anymore. So let's go into and edit the sketch. If we want to do that, then though we kind of have to get rid of this line right there so we can, Trim that out. Uh, all looks good. 
Um, now this right there is going to be centered and it is going to be 25 up. So it should be right there. So that's the center and it has a diameter of 20. That's nice. And then here, the bottom of this would be that line, be 45. Not sure where it has, where it has the 70 there. Let's, let's put that in and then we'll see. So that, that should be 45. So maybe we'll do, and overall has a length of 12. So let's just do a line that is 12 long. And then we'll dimension it to be in the right position. We'll dimension it to be to the bottom. Should be 45. Right? That's what it says right there. And then it's centered. So we'll say the edge here is 6. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Um, where else can we say? So this was supposed to be 12 across, so maybe we can say the corner of this to that is supposed to be six. Ah, that's annoying because we used that on there for, why is it connecting to the circle? Let's make sure it stays where it is. Now, let's see if we can get stuff to move independently. Right? Sometimes you have to be, have to see how it goes. And then the triangle has a height of 15. So we'll just do a line of 15. And then we can close our triangle there and on the other side. Get rid of our construction line. And now I can say yes. So we can now extrude this entire thing and it was supposed to be 90. 90, all right. So we have our, our first chunk here. But before we continue, let's just do a quick check on something, all right? Because it, for some reason, has this 70 here. So let's see if this is actually... 70 and it is so they kind of double dimension whatever they did uh, not very good but it is what it is all right so now we want to do this cut to do that we'll create ourselves a plane and we'll do angle around something so we'll have here our angle is going to be there and what's our it's supposed to be 30 degrees so minus 30. And then we're just going to do, uh, we'll just do draw something on either of them. Let's do it differently for this time. We'll do, we'll draw onto our swept surface here. All we have to do is do a nice rectangle that covers everything up until the edge. It's careful, don't go beyond the edge. Say that's good. Say finish. And we will say extrude. And we will cut in the other direction. And there we are. All right, so we have our kind of weird sloped front surface. We can get rid of our um, plane for now. So all that's left, I think, is this kind of back area. So let's do some kind of a sketch here. This is still 24. I'm not sure why they're over-dimensioning everything. Um, but we want to have a cut that starts 15 in and goes 32. Let's do a rectangle. Starts up here. In uh, this direction is 32. And if it goes 15 down and this was 35, then in the other direction it's 20. So we have that, so we can say finish. We can do another extrusion, again, we'll do a cut. And then you'll see what I meant, right? So this kind of cuts through the back here. 
Um, so maybe if we want to get rid of that, because that looks strange, then we'll just do a little little fix here. We'll do a little drawing, some randomish uh, box finish. We'll extrude that out the direction, but we want to add, and this should go 24. All right, so we got kind of rid of that cut. So kind of this ends um, where it doesn't really say that it does, but now it does. Um, so we want to have this hole. So let's do a sketch here. Hole is centered and how far in? 12 in. Let's get this. So the centered would be here. And then we can say x equal to 12 and diameter of 12, 12, 12, 12. All right, doesn't say anything about depth, so we'll cut it all the way through and say, okay. And then the last is that we have some rounds back here, there, and there, and it says they're all R3. So let's get our fillet right there. We say we want to have three millimeters. We want that one, that one, that one. And then now we have two back here. Let's swing this around right where our kind of cut is. And that one, and we'll say yes. And then that's what it looks like. Looks pretty much like what we have, as far as I can tell. It's a little bit of a busy drawing. Um, we had some issues uh, out front here, but I, th I think we've taken care of them. So I think we're good.